Hao watu wanataka tubaki December 23rd last year. I refuse to remain in December 23rd last year. Starting today, we have just launched a new tone. Nataka munisaidie kusema shame on you. Leo muubiri ya metuambia kuhusu kengere and we are going to ring the bell. Ni yonja leleto bando weta kwa kithara na kore kithara toa uga ni toa uga. Sia sasia kwa imwe na wa William Samoei Ruto. So shame DCI do not bother me with endless counts and calls to record a statement. What am I recording a statement about? To investigate yourselves, to turn tables which you told my grandfather, Archbishop David Gitari, they will be left unturned, and to date the people who invaded his house in the fathers in Kirinyaga have never been found. So what do you want me to record a statement about? You are the criminals. Investigate yourself. When Kenei died in the office of the deputy president, you had a press conference. You even had CCTV of the office. You even made the whole country focus on something which up to date you've never given us a report, you've never given the family. Do you think we are fools to keep recording statements and you do nothing? Shame. One day, I told you that some people had met at Lamada Hotel and had planned to kill the deputy president. What did you do? You arrested me instead for telling you somebody wants to kill the deputy president. Shame. The complainant in that case was one P.S. Kibicho. When we went to court, when we went to court, P.S. Kibicho, Karanja Kibicho, you did not come to court to give your evidence because you knew you are the one who said that you are going to do to William Ruto what you did to George Saitoti. I am now speaking to you, Bwana Kibicho. You claim you are from Kirinyaga, and people in Kirinyaga, together with a woman rep, Wangoi Girishi, you have told us we should leave Kibicho alone. Let me ask you, my woman rep, Wangoi Girishi, why should I leave Kibicho alone because he's from Kirinyaga? Am I not from Kirinyaga? And why is Kibicho from Kirinyaga spearheading and heading a police force that is punishing my sister, Jane, by abduction, and myself by abduction? Shame. The IG of police. Why it not that I have borrowed this church compound? I would have used harsher words. Your son, while driving a car while drunk, and engaging in sexual activities on a moving car, killed two Boda Boda riders. Boda Boda riders, who had no mistake, walikuwa tu kazini, wanangoja kubeba watu. And a woman who is still in hospital receiving treatment. Shame. You promised investigations. To date, nothing has happened. Instead, you sent Logistics One to go and clear the scene, hide the car, and wipe out the evidence. Bonaiji, you may think I'm quiet, but I don't deal with puppets. <laughs> that logistics one, you must disband it. I'm giving you an ultimatum of two weeks. After that, I'm coming for you in our courts of law. There must be an end to the type of people who pretend to be police and heading a police force, yet bodies are floating in Livayala without anyone thinking that that's an issue we should address. Yani, watu wanakatakatwa, wanaweka kwa gunia, wanatupo kwa mto, lakini the IG just affords a tweet, no one has recorded a statement. Shame. Ruaraka thief. Ruaraka land thief, CS Fred Okengo Matiangi. Shame, Matiangi. You stole land that belonged to a primary school. Yani uliiba shamba, ukauzia serikali shamba ya serikali. 
Then when we call you out, you send some rogue police officers to break our hands, our legs, and to try and disable other parts. I have bad news for you. Every part you try to disable is working fine. Kabisa, the flag is raised. Do not think because you used one or two magistrates to kill a case, it's over. The radical group of youth is filing a private case against you by the end of this month. Because CS Matiangi, you are running a rogue police force and pretending Ukishtuko okay, microphone anywhere, you are pretending you are the toughest person ever. You are pretending that you are the one who will solve our problems. But because I'm a law-abiding citizen, I will file a video statement. You translate it into your own format. But in that statement, you can be sure the opening statement and the ending statement shall be shame. How many people can you kill, Mr. DCI? I hear you, my pastors. I hear you. That I should not be afraid. In fact, the Bible records that phrase, do not be afraid, 365 times. One day, per day, per year. So I shall not be afraid. And from today, I join as a member, the great team called Radical. Because there is nothing for us without us. From today, we are moving from digital to Radical. Mr. President, there is much we have done together. I will not go out and say some of the many things you've done together because I also keep secrets of government. But Mr. President, I shall not forget that during your tenure as president, your legacy was to drive me to the edge. But Mr. President, I am a seed. I cannot be buried in dust. I can only germinate. Mr. President, there is much we have done together. I will not go out and say some of the many things you've done together because I also keep secrets of government. But Mr. President, I shall not forget that during your tenure as president, your legacy was to drive me to the edge. But Mr. President, I am a seed. I cannot be buried in dust. I can only germinate. If you are serious about your legacy, P.S. Kibicho, C.S. Matiangi, DCI boss, IG of police should not be in office. Not only because they harmed and injured Dennis Itumbi, but because they are running an administration of torture, abductions, and kidnapping. Unless, of course, you are the one who is sending them. And if you are the one who is sending them, shame. And Mr. President, with due respect, we will not buy your project. We rejected President Moy's project in you, we said no. In, in 2012, President Kibaki tried to campaign against Mary Wamboi. We said no. Or uh, the people of Nyeri, the likes of Kiruga Thuku, said no. We will reject your project, Mr. President, like we have rejected all others. And if you continue pushing that project, we can only say shame on you and we will also do it with our votes because we have votes and ladies and gentlemen join us together as we begin radical